In Brazil, local authorities are pushing back at the landless rural workers movement after it coordinated dozens of vacant land occupations this month. In Recife, our reported Brian Mir has more. Story of the April 17, 1996 police massacre of 21 landless rural workers. Brazil's landless rural workers movement, or MST, is celebrating Red April by coordinating dozens of occupations on unproductive land across the country, which is a legal right granted in Brazil's constitution. In Jaboatão, Pernambuco, a group of 500 families has moved on to a former sugar plantation. I clear out my lot, and I'm already planting pineapple so I can support my two daughters. We aren't being treated with the respect we deserve. Hired thugs are coming here to scare us, and there are children here. This is very complicated. Although the original owners haven't used the land or paid any real estate taxes on it in decades, therefore losing their right to the property, days after the MST moved in, they filed a complaint with a local judge claiming to have sold it to a real estate company. Today, the police arrived and served them with a legally questionable eviction notice, giving them 72 hours to peacefully leave the area. Yesterday, we went to a meeting in the state assembly with the deputy who invited a representative of the company to negotiate with us. They say they bought 250 hectares here, but we know the area is 883 hectares. So even if they set up their business, there is still enough room for the families. The MST promises to fight the eviction order in the courts. Brian Mir, Telesur, Pernambuco.